Hey guys, Mateus here. Just gonna go over today how to beat and locate the Natalia's Vengeance Dungeon. This dungeon's a little tricky. Objective basically is to keep Reign of Vengeance up for 90 seconds in a row. Not to die and not to deplete your hatred to zero. So in order to do that, we're going to optimize cooldown reduction. As you can see in my gear, I'm going to be using the diamond. And I'm going to have cooldown reduction on everything that I can, which is gloves, shoulders, both weapons. And I think that's it. We're also going to be using Dawn, which reduces the cooldown of Vengeance by 60%, or, in my, it's, or 65%. In my case, it's 60%. For skills, the most important things here, really we'll only be using four skills. Uh, I like to use Drafe, uh, Strafe, Drifting Shadow, so I can continuously go and attack while moving, which will reduce my cooldown for Reign of Vengeance, which is the most important thing we're here, we have here. I'm going to be using Shade with Reign of Vengeance, just uses the biggest surface area. Vengeance is important. We'll be using Seethe. The reason this is important is because that Seethe rune is going to increase our hatred regeneration, which is going to keep us from going to zero. So we're going to be able to basically spam strafe and reign of vengeance, not worry about our hatred. Same thing with companion, back companion. Sole purpose is to increase our hatred regeneration. Hot pursuit helps a little bit. All these help a little bit, but they're unimportant. Like I said, the most important is strafe, reign of vengeance, vengeance and companion. That's what we're going to be using. In the cube, we're going to be using as our weapon slot in Geom. It's going to reduce our cooldowns for 10 seconds for 15 seconds after killing an elite pack. Uh, for armor, it's going to be Hexing Pants of Mr. Yawn, which is going to increase our resource generation and damage while we're moving around with Strafe. And Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac because it's going to reduce the remaining cooldown of one of our skills by one second when we hit with a resource spending attack. Just a disclaimer, this build is built specifically for this, this dungeon, so don't go out there with the skills I'm showing you right now and the cube situation I have now and expect to do really well in Nef Rifts and Greater Rifts. This is solely optimized to complete this dungeon. To get there, we are going to go, going to need to be in Act 1, and we're going to go to the Wartham Chapel Cellar Waypoint. Then we're just going to exit the building. And we have the dungeon right here. Click on it. Let's go over the objectives one more time. Maintain a reign of vengeance for 90 seconds. Do not exhaust your hatred. And basically do not die. The time limit's 4 minutes and 30 seconds. Limited amount of enemies. So we're basically going to have to keep that reign of vengeance up from the very beginning. If we want to succeed at this. That's the tricky part of this dungeon. Just keeping that up. Because you have to find enemies to hit to reduce the cooldown. So it's going to be going to have to be a little methodical. Doing a circle around the base so we have uh, or around the map so we have a good supply of enemies so we're going to put vengeance up right now Make sure we keep Reign of Vengeance and Vengeance both up as much as possible.
as you can see, got to keep a nice supply of enemies. Got to be a little strategic on how we use this. So far, it's looking pretty good. You can see we got that success. And that's really the hard part. So now we just got to kill the remaining monsters. There's one left. And there he is. Bam. Perfect. Now, I have a strafe as my left click button, and I had Rain of Vengeance as my right click button. So I'm using the standstill button, which I have a space bar. So I have that held down. And when I use my left mouse click button, I'm strafing around, then release and hit the right mouse click for the Reign of Vengeance. So you got to make sure it's, I think Reign of Vengeance is like six seconds long. So every six seconds, you got to make sure you hit Reign of Vengeance again and make sure you keep Vengeance up. Once you master that little technique, it's an uh, easy dungeon to complete. It might take you a little bit to do it if you're not familiar with that play style, though. All right? Well, thank you very much. Have any questions, leave them in the comments. Until next time.